Have you ever wondered what are the risks associated with tooth extraction? It's a common procedure, yet not without its potential dangers. Over the course of this video, we'll be exploring various risks that could occur during or after a tooth extraction. These include the risk of infection due to improper sterilization, pain and discomfort during the healing process, and the possibility of nerve damage that could result in numbness or tingling. We'll also discuss issues like excessive bleeding, the presence of small bone fragments left behind after the procedure, and the risk of dry socket, a condition where the blood clot dislodges or dissolves too soon. In rare cases, allergic reactions to medications or materials used during the procedure can occur. We'll also touch on the complications related to impacted teeth and how pre-existing health conditions can increase the risks. Stay tuned as we delve into each of these risks in more detail. Firstly, let's discuss the risk of infection after a tooth extraction. When a tooth is removed, it leaves behind an open wound, and like any other wound, it's susceptible to infection. To prevent this, dentists adhere to strict sterilization procedures during the extraction. This involves the use of sterilized instruments, gloves, and other protective measures to ensure the extraction site remains clean and free from harmful bacteria. Now, even with the best sterilization practices, there's a chance that bacteria might still find their way into the extraction site. This is where antibiotics come into play. Your dentist will likely prescribe a course of antibiotics to take after the extraction. These powerful drugs work by killing off any lingering bacteria, preventing them from causing an infection. But remember, these antibiotics can only do their job properly if you take them as directed. Skipping doses or stopping early can allow bacteria to multiply, potentially leading to an infection. Remember, post-operative care is crucial in preventing infection. Now let's talk about the potential pain and discomfort associated with tooth extraction. It's important to understand that some degree of discomfort is typical following a tooth extraction. The area around the extraction site may feel sore and tender in the days following the procedure. This is a natural part of the healing process, and it's nothing to be overly concerned about. Pain management is an essential part of post-extraction care. Your dentist may prescribe pain relievers to help manage the discomfort. It's crucial to follow the prescribed dosage and timing to keep pain levels manageable. In addition to prescribed medication, there are a few home remedies that can help alleviate discomfort. Applying a cold compress to the affected area can help reduce swelling, while rinsing your mouth with warm salt water can aid in keeping the extraction site clean and soothe irritated tissues. While discomfort is normal, severe or persistent pain warrants a call to your dentist. Another risk, though rare, is nerve damage. This can happen during a tooth extraction if the tooth roots are close to the nerves. If these nerves are inadvertently bruised or damaged, it could lead to numbness or a tingling sensation in the surrounding areas of the mouth including the tongue and lips. It's similar to the feeling you have when anesthesia is wearing off, except this could potentially last for a longer period. Now don't let this scare you. Instances of nerve damage are quite uncommon, and even when they do occur, in most cases the effects are temporary and resolve over time. However, it's important to be aware of this risk, so you can make informed decisions about your dental care. Always inform your dentist if you experience any unusual sensations after extraction. Remember, your dental health team is there to ensure your safety and comfort throughout the procedure and the healing process. Excessive bleeding can also be a concern after tooth extraction. Now, some bleeding is normal. It's the body's way of healing the wound left by the extraction. But when does it cross the line from normal to excessive? Usually, bleeding should subside within 24 hours following the procedure. If you're still experiencing bleeding after this period, it may be cause for concern. A key factor in managing bleeding lies in the post-extraction care instructions your dentist provides. These often include biting down on a gauze pad for about 30 minutes after the extraction, avoiding vigorous rinsing or spitting, and refraining from smoking. Remember, these instructions are not mere suggestions. They play a crucial role in your recovery process and in preventing complications like excessive bleeding. So, if you're diligently following these guidelines but find the bleeding persists beyond the expected time, don't hesitate to contact your dentist. They are there to help ensure your recovery process is smooth and complication-free. Bone fragments and dry socket are two more risks to be aware of. Now, bone fragments may sound a bit alarming, but let's break it down. Sometimes, tiny bits of bone might be left behind after a tooth extraction. These small pieces can work their way to the surface of the gums, causing discomfort or even infection. If you feel something hard or sharp in your gums after an extraction, 
it might be a bone fragment. But don't fret, your dentist can easily remove these fragments during a follow-up visit. Now let's move on to dry socket. This occurs when the blood clot that normally forms after an extraction is dislodged or dissolves too early. This clot is the first step in healing, acting as a protective layer over the underlying bone and nerve endings. When it's gone, those areas are exposed, which can lead to pain and slow the healing process. Symptoms of dry socket can include a dull, throbbing pain a few days after the extraction, a bad taste in your mouth, or even bad breath. If you experience these symptoms, it's essential to contact your dentist right away. But how can we prevent dry socket? It's simple, really. Avoid smoking, using straws, or anything else that can create suction in the mouth for at least 24 hours after the extraction. Also, maintain good oral hygiene, but be gentle around the extraction site. It's also important to note that not everyone is at equal risk for dry socket. People who smoke, have had dry socket before, or have poor oral hygiene are at a higher risk. Women may also be at a higher risk, especially those who take birth control pills. But remember, while these complications can sound intimidating, they're relatively rare and can be managed effectively with professional dental care. Routine follow-up appointments can help ensure these issues are caught and addressed early. So don't let the fear of potential risks deter you from seeking necessary dental care. Your health and well-being are worth it. We also need to consider allergic reactions and the complications of impacted teeth. Allergic reactions, though rare, can occur in response to materials or medications used during the extraction process. This could range from a mild skin rash to more serious reactions. It's important to inform your dentist of any known allergies before the extraction. Impacted teeth, which are teeth that have not fully emerged from the gums, present their own set of challenges. The extraction of an impacted tooth is often more complex and may require surgical intervention. The procedure can sometimes lead to complications such as infection or damage to surrounding teeth. However, with proper precautions and care, these risks can be minimized. If you have impacted teeth, it's crucial to discuss this with your dentist to understand the procedure and potential risks involved. Always inform your dentist of any known allergies and discuss any concerns about impacted teeth. Pre-existing health conditions can also impact the risks associated with tooth extraction. When we talk about pre-existing conditions, we're referring to ongoing health issues that a patient may have, such as diabetes or heart disease. These conditions can complicate the extraction process and potentially heighten the risk of complications. For example, individuals with diabetes may experience slower healing and a higher risk of infection following a tooth extraction. Similarly, those with heart conditions may have an increased risk of endocarditis, an infection of the inner lining of the heart that can occur when bacteria from the mouth enter the bloodstream during the extraction. This is why it's crucial to provide your dentist with a comprehensive overview of your health history. By understanding your unique health profile, your dentist can tailor the extraction process and post-operative care to minimize any potential risks. It's important to have a thorough discussion with your dentist about your health history before any extraction. Despite these risks, remember that professional dental care can minimize or avoid many of these issues. Tooth extraction, like any other medical procedure, is not without its potential complications. However, the expertise and knowledge of a trained dental professional can significantly mitigate these risks. They employ rigorous sterilization procedures to prevent infection, prescribe precise medications to manage pain and discomfort, and use refined techniques to reduce the chances of nerve damage, excessive bleeding, or other complications. In the rare instance of an unexpected issue, such as a bone fragment or a dry socket, your dentist is equipped to provide prompt and effective treatment. They are also sensitive to patients with pre-existing conditions or allergies, tailoring the extraction process to ensure your safety and comfort. So the key takeaway here is this, trust your dental health professionals. They have your best interests at heart. Communicate openly with your dental professionals and follow all post-operative care instructions diligently.